We're doing it live. All right, what up boys? Welcome to the Shadow pre-raid PvP this list. Uh, by popular demand, a lot of people have been poking me about this, asking about this, so I figured I'd get it done. Uh, next one will be a post-raid this list. We're going to keep it in two separate videos, so it's not confusing. The... I'm going full screen. Full, full screen. Full screen. Dude, this bit of hair just keeps falling down. I need more hairspray. The thing is, I need to do it fast, but it also needs to last for 10 minutes for YouTube, so... <sighs> Hope Guide will use all of these. Okay, starting over, starting over. What up, boys? What? Food's done. Ah! <sighs> BLB, boys. Let me get this food. Let's, uh... Let's do this guide now. Tiny kits. Tiny kits! Stop drinking my milk! Attempt five. Wait. Okay. What up, guys? Welcome to the Shadow PvP pre raid uh, bis list. That is a fucking mouthful, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Alright, guys. What up? How's it going? We're, uh. What up guys, welcome to the Shadow PvP pre-raid bis list. This is about take 80, I swear to god. What up guys, welcome to the Shadow PvP pre-raid bis list. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about this for a little while, so uh, I figured I'd knuckle down and do it. We're going to get a post-raid PvP bis list uh, done as well. That will probably be in the next couple of days, but for now we're doing pre-raid. Going to keep them separate, going to keep them... Uh, Non-scuffed transition, by the way. Did it? Yeah, gonna keep keep it simple, keeping them separate. Uh, and so the kind of the general uh, mindset going into this was we decided that Int and Stam were a lot more valuable than just getting stuff with damage and healing on, right? We wanted to survive, we wanted decent health pool, uh, but also we wanted to have enough mana to actually be able to fight, you know, consecutive opponents, more opponents than one at a time, stuff like that. Um, and while the damage is nice, it's not doing enough to kind of kill people off fast enough to allow us to, you know, drink or cast less or whatever. <clears throat> so while it's while it's good, we're, we're prioring he uh, health and mana in general, and so like the stats on the items. So Helm, first of all, we went for Dreadmist. There were a couple of contenders, which was Postmasters, uh, Magisters, and Devout. Devout just generally has too much spirit on. Magisters was, was okay, but the other piece wasn't really worth it. So we ended up going for the Dread Mist just for the raw stats. Postmasters is nice again, but we went for the Dread Mist again for the raw stats. It has a bit more stamina on, it has the armor bonus. Uh, and the armor bonus of Postmasters is significantly worse for unknown reasons. So Dread Mist was uh, final choice. Then for the neck, we've gone for Dark Advisors Pendant, uh, and that's from Vectus in Scholo. And it's quite a low drop chance. Usually he does he drops nothing. But he's you don't actually need the quest to kill him. You can actually just pull him back to the room before the whelps and all the adds that come with him reset. But make sure that you attack him as he comes up the stairs, otherwise he'll reset too. Um and if you fail him once, all the mobs in the room will be red. So make sure you do it last, because if you try and do the other bosses afterwards, you're gonna have to fight all those adds and they're pretty chunky. So yeah, that's the that's the option for the neck. Other option is obviously Anastari heirloom. Uh, Dark Advisor just has slightly best, slightly better stats overall, I think. But this is a close second. Uh, other option, is, I guess, is Tooth of Nar. It's fine too. If you don't want uh, damage, you can go for the mana per five. Uh, shoulders, we're gonna we're gonna generally be looking to get about four Necropile. Shoulders, we're going for the Necropiles. Other option is Dead Walkers. If you're not going for Necropile, has a bit more damage on it, but a little bit less in, no spirit, and obviously no set bonus. Necropile, we're looking to not not so much for the three defense, but the fifteen all res is is quite a big pickup. And if you don't have Alanas, then you can pick up Necropile chest too. Royal Tribunal cloak for the shoulders. Shoulders, the cloak. Weirdly. Um, if you're Horde, there's also uh, the option of Q Chat, because I forget the name of the cloak. Chat will tell me soon, I'm sure. There's another option that's Horde only from a, from a quest in the Hinterlands, and uh, it has damage on it and stamina in it as well. But you can only get it as Horde, which is a shame. 
Interestingly, nobody is telling me the name of the cloak. All right, I'm going to move on. It's like Woodland's cloak or some shit like that, anyway. Um, for chess, we're going for Alana's. And reason I say Necropile is fine here anyway is because you're much more likely to pick up the Necropile. It has slightly more damage on it once you have the five set, but you're losing the intellect and the spirit, eight of each. And since I said we're, we're kind of trying to go for stats a little bit more over damage, we figured the Necropile was slightly inferior to Alana's due to that reason, but still a fine pickup. Deep Woodlands Cloak, that was the cloak. There's, they're, 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 <laughs> I want to say better late than never, but no chat, you, you, you've screwed me here. Uh, so yeah, Braces, again, Necropile. We're going for the five set or, or the four set and potentially the five set. It has good stats on it, nothing wrong with them. Uh, other options are the Dread Mist ones. Not much else is great in terms of terms of braces. So you're either going for the Dread Mist or the Necropile. Depends on what set bonus you want, but in the end we've we've put Necropile there. Weapons was a tough one. Um just because there's so many different options and you can kind of go so many different ways with it. But the main contender here, I think, was a Scepter of the Unholy. And you can go like Scepter of Unholy and then Umbral Crystal in the offhand. I think it's Umbral Crystal. And you'll end up with a lot more damage than the Trindle Haven stuff, but Trindle Haven's just providing us so much in and stamina that it was it was hard to pass up, and you even get a little bit of damage and healing with it. So I think Trindle Haven is is the clear clear winner. Wand again is just Storm Rager. It's significantly better than any other wand, especially with the 1.3. Uh, the 1.3 attack speed on it is is just insane uh, for PvP in general. So definitely pick that up. Uh, gloves, we were a little bit torn. We had a couple of options with gloves. We were thinking, do we go Dread Mist gloves and a damaged belt, or do we go Silk Web gloves and, and Dread Mist belt? It, so in the end, we actually went for the Silk Web gloves just because they're so good compared to every other gloves that are available. Um, if we look at like Dread Mist, like they, they, there's just so much stamina in on the Silk Webs compared to everything else. Just a really good balance of stats. Um, and, and then when we compare it to the belt, the belt is not that much worse than something like Dust Feather. Um, where we're, we're gaining a slight amount of damage. And again, this is where the kind of mindset comes into it. Like, we're not looking to get that small amount of damage. We're looking to beef up our stats as much as possible. So we went with the Dreadmiss belt and the Siltwork gloves in the end. Uh, legs, again, another Scholo drop. Just really good stats on all round. Look who's invaded the moment the doors open. Really good stats on Necropile all round. A um, couple of other options here with Skull Smoke. Got decent stats on two, but again, no set bonus. Spirit Shrouds aren't bad. Um, but again, we're just going for stats rather than damage. So the Necropile's kind of one out, especially when we're looking to get that four set, which is 15 all res, which is really nice. Um, and then obviously the boots to make it off to round it out. And they're all from Scholo, so you can can obtain a lot of this gear really easily. So we've got Scholo, Scholo. Um, where's the belt from? Belt's a, a BOE. Uh, again, Scholo, Scholo. Uh, this one's Strat, Scholo, Scholo. So it's, Scholo is just like easy, easy Scholo runs to farm all this gear, and you're gonna, you can, it'll need a few runs, but at least you can just farm it, right? Uh, ring, we've got Blood of the Martyr. Which is from a quest where you do strat scarlet side, loot a random chest for an item. I forget what the item is, but you take it to the guy at the start of the strat and dead side in the little church on the right. And he's like, all right, cheers, mate. And then when you kill Baron, he's like on the floor at the end and he's like, oh, yeah, here's a ring. And then you take the ring and you're like, cheers, bro. And it's good. So that's that. Uh, other options are double underworld. But again, Worse off for stats. Uh, we've got the Cyclopean, which we end up choosing in the end. Uh, Underworld is fine if you want the damage, but the stats in general on Cyclopean and Blood are just superior. So that's why I've, why I've gone for that. And then Briarwood Reed, it's pretty standard. Beefs up our damage and healing a little bit. The last trinket slot, obviously, is, is for rotating. You go for various NG things. Uh, Tidal Charm, anything like that. Arena Grandmaster. Depends what you got, but you can switch it around as it's on cooldown um, as you get out of combat. So yeah, that's that's 
pretty much everything I think I have to say about the Shadow PvP Abyss list. Um, there's some nice upgrades from the raid, which will be in the next video. Um, but yeah, for now, if you do have any any complaints or any criticisms of certain items that you would kind of pick up differently, or whether you would prio damage and healing more, please let me know. Is any kitten trying to steal your food again? Um, yeah, cheers for watching. See you next time. And let us never speak of it again. After fucking 20 takes.